Hello everyone, welcome back to Spice Vader. Today we're unboxing the Minus Forum Elite Mini B550. Uh, this is the 0 plus 0 plus 0 version, which I assume represents the bare bones kit. Uh, it's going for $319 currently, and that's US dollars. Uh, this is a Socket AM4 mini PC that has a smaller footprint than a mini ITX board, yet still packs in comparable features. So let's take a look at the specs on the box. It supports 65 watt AM4 chips, so this rules out the 5800X and up, but the 5700G is supported, which can still do a lot of heavy lifting at 65 watts. It's got two DDR sodium slots up to 64 gigs, uh, 4K60 support on both HDMI ports as well as DisplayPort. Um, other notable features, two and a half gig ethernet, four USB 3.2 ports, a uh, single USB-C port, and three and a half millimeter headphone and mic jacks. And of course, it's dedicated 19 volt power in port. So now it's time to unbox. And I'm gonna be switching over to the camera mic here as I forgot to use my lav mic, so sorry for that. Let us open together. Hmm. Warning. Be sure to unplug the power adapter before using the ATX power supply. If both are used at the same time, there is a risk of causing a short. I will make sure not to do that. New Gen Elite Mini Computer. That is cool. All this stuff is what it comes with. Oh, that's a cool case. That's pretty cool. Well, before we open this, Let's see the rest of the stuff in the box. This is gonna be... Ah yes, our accessories. What do we got? HDMI cable, cool. This looks like an ATX power supply dealio. Maybe the rubber padded feet. Uh, some adapter plate, I think. Power backup screw set. This looks like it could be for the power supply. Oh, that's sweet. This has got to be... Yes! That's cool. This is the X16 adapter. Yep. Yeah, I think that's where this 8-pin... Where is it? No, it's a 10-pin. Plug goes into here. It'll be cool to get this all set up and going. No longer do I have to use the ADT link to get this all set up and working. I could just, it just comes with it included. So let's put that aside and let's take a peek at this. Ooh, that's the power supply in there. Nice, powered by AMD. Yeah, we got two and a half gig, four USB 3.0, USB-C, two HDMI, display port, power button. Ah, 10 pin, there it is. Yep. That's where we hook up our, that's where it goes. Four pin, that must be for the uh, PSU, or for the uh, CPU, off of the PSU. Discrete graphics card interface goes right there so cool oh yeah power supply we have a 120 watt power supply that uses regular ATX power very awesome Let's take off the four screws on the bottom and then I have access to the stuff and the things kind of captive yeah so look how cool that is so we've got our SATA adapter here, so we could put a two and a half inch here. M.2, another M.2. And that's where our 10 pin power is. Yeah, ATX 12 volts for that's for the P, uh, CPU. It's four pin. Oh, the whole thing just comes out. Oh. I just got this, don't wanna break it. guessing it would kind of come out like that like 
like this, like that, like this, like this, or like that. I'm pretty sure it's just this this peg over here. Oh my goodness, it was that peg. There we go. There we go. Just pop off the. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh. Now take a look, see. Oh, there's a fan. So there's our PCI X16. The RAM would go here, which I have two beautiful sticks. Kingston RAM that uh, came from a laptop. Yeah, the heat sink is held on with these screws, so. Let's get to undoing all this. Fun disassembling stuff. I film it, that way I can remember how it all goes in. Okay. Yeah, this shouldn't be on very tight. There's no CPU in here right now. Oh, just like that. Look at that. Yeah, and this cooling solution, I wouldn't trust it with more than a 65 watt processor anyway. Here's our AM4 slot. i put that bad boy in. Hope you like this quick teardown of the Elite Mini B550 by Minus Forum. It has a lot of potential to be used in several different scenarios like game streaming, uh, lightweight gaming rig, heavyweight gaming rig. I'm even thinking of a way to mount it inside of another bigger build as a secondary rig. Stay tuned as this is going to be the first of a few videos in this series uh, that I want to cover on this system. I'll have a follow up video soon with the CPU, the RAM, the SSD and setting up that GPU dock and we'll do some benchmarks and then cover some of those alternative uses I mentioned. I'd also like to say thanks for watching and a big shout out to my 350 subscribers. I really appreciate the support, genuinely do. If you like this content, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great week. Thanks for watching and God bless.